The Southern, number 6900, originally number 2923, rolled off the assembly line in September of 1951. It was an effort by Southern Railway to streamline their passenger trains, the Southerner, the Crescent, the Royal Palm, and the Tennessean. But it was just two months later, November 25th, 1951, that this engine was mangled in a horrific and deadly crash. It happened in Woodstock, Alabama, and was precipitated by a damaged trestle on the Crescent Line. Because of that, the Crescent train was detoured and traveling behind another passenger train, the Southerner, heading south. Both trains were designated number 47. On approaching Woodstock, there's only one set of railroad tracks, so trains would be pulled off on a siding to allow a train going the opposite direction to pass. It was just after 2.30 p.m., and the northbound Southerner, train number 48, had done just that, pulling off the main line to allow both number 47s to roll by. But that's not what happened. The first number 47 train passed without incident, but instead of waiting for the second train, the northbound Southerner, pulled by this locomotive, then number 2923, moved onto the main line and directly into the path of the oncoming Crescent. The devastation was enormous. The front of the locomotive, number 2923, was crushed. The car just behind the engine, a Jim Crow car, was accordioned, killing more than a dozen of those passengers. In all, 68 were injured and 18 dead, including the train's engineer. And it remained unknown why the engineer didn't wait on that second train to pass. Now, the station at Woodstock, about six weeks earlier, had gone to a CTC system rather than written train orders. That meant the crews had to depend on lighted signals to know if it was safe to proceed. Now, the CTC system worked. There was a red no-go signal, but the engineer proceeded anyway. When his fireman pointed this out, the engineer did stop, but he was already 100 feet onto the main line. Even more so, the first train, number 47, had signaled that there was another train coming behind them. Despite all the warnings available, the Southerner was directly in the line of fire when the Crescent rounded the curve to approach the station, and the consequences were deadly. Now, despite the nose of the engine being completely crushed, number 2923 was repaired by Southern Railway. It was renumbered 6900 in 1970, whenever the Southerner and Crescent lines combined, and it was logoed to represent its new route. The number 6900 was involved in another crash in 1977 near the museum grounds. Powering a 10-car train with three other E8 locomotives, the train derailed in Spencer Yard, colliding with a freight train. No one was seriously hurt, though three of the passengers suffered fractures, including a broken leg and spinal injuries. Again, the 6900 was repaired. Two years later, Southern Railway turned over their passenger lines to Amtrak. The 6900 was donated to the North Carolina Transportation History Corporation, which became the North Carolina Transportation Museum Foundation. The engine has been a part of the museum's railroad collection ever since, and on very special occasions can even be seen pulling the museum's passenger train. Continue to learn at home with other great videos from the North Carolina Transportation Museum on Facebook, YouTube, and nctrans.org. The North Carolina Transportation Museum in Spencer is the museum that moves you.